Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a green look. I did this look probably like over a week ago. Um, I just haven't gotten it up. I have a lot of stuff I have to edit. Um, but yeah, so I finally <laughs> edited this look and I really just wanted to do something with my new red hair. So this was like the first well, kind of like the second look, I guess, that I did with my red hair. So I'm using the P. Louise base first, like I always do, lay it down. And today I'm going in with my Cursed Cosmetics Paranormal Palette. This palette is so cute, you guys, and I do have a discount code with Cursed Cosmetics. It's just Sydney. And I'm really excited to have a discount code with them because their products are really high quality. I mean, look at the pigment on this eyeshadow. I was so shook, you guys. So I, I now have a discount code with them <laughs> because I genuinely love their products. So go check out their stuff. They are a spooky little brand. Anyways, I'm doing a green kind of smoky eye, like half cut crease with glitter. Um, it was one of those looks where I really didn't know what I was doing. I just started going and whatever I came up with was what I came up with. So packed some of the black color in my crease, laid down the dark green, and then went in with like the yellowish lime green, blended it all out, layered each color a few times, and then I went back in with my P. Louise base and a tiny little brush from P. Louise, and I cut my crease. I also packed it down before adding any shadow on top of the P. Louise base. I'm now going in with the shade White Noise from the Cursed Cosmetics Paranormal Palette, and I packed that right on top of the P. Louise base and then blended in the green and the lime green color on the outer part of the lid. Mm -hmm. I'm then going in with this heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay and using the green glitter from the Paranormal Palette. So I laid down the heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay first because it is um, a liquid glitter. So I lay that down and then I take the green one from the palette and a little tiny brush and I just pack it on top of the Urban Decay glitter while it's still wet. And then I just kind of go back and forth until I get the, you know, kind of density I want with the glitter. I'm now taking my Anastasia liquid liner and I'm just doing a line along my lids and then blending the black shadow into the liquid liner into my crease. I did my base and I'm going in with this ColourPop eyeliner. It's just a light lilac purple, kind of pastel purple. I'm putting that in my waterline, then taking the same black shade from the palette, smoking out the lower lash line. Not taking it all the way to the inner corner, I'm taking this purple shade called Haunted from the Paranormal Palette and I am just smoking out the black a tiny bit. I didn't want to go for super smoky for this look, but just a little something. Now I'm taking White Noise, I'm putting that in my inner corner. I also put it on my brow bone um, and then I do my inner corner point with my liquid liner like I always do. And I just kind of connect it to the purple and black shadow that I did on the lower lash line. I'm going in with my ColourPop Seismic Highlight, and I'm popping that on my cheeks, on my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow. Mm, yes, I fixed my hair, and I put on some mascara. I'm now going in with these Hollow Vanity lashes. They're Frankenstein lashes. They're so cute. The packaging is so precious. And I put on my Tarte um, lash glue onto my lid and also onto the lash band of the eyelashes. Let it dry for about 30 seconds and then popped my lashes on. That just helps me make sure they are really secure on my lid. And then I'm going in with my P. Louise lip liner. This is one the one in standard, so that's what it's called. It's a dark brown. Just overlining my lips a little bit, like I always do. I am going in with the Cursed Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Colt. It's just a really pretty, like, nudish orange color. I wanted a nude color, um, and this one turned out to be a little bit more orange than I was expecting, but that's okay. We're still gonna rock with it. And it smells really good. Their lipsticks smell delicious, you guys. But that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I am working on all these other looks that I need to post, so please be patient with me. I'll have some up very soon, a bunch of new videos here on YouTube and on my Instagram. Until then, you can also check out my TikTok because I do have little videos for these looks on there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.